Japan's nuclear safety agency will raise the crisis level at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant from five to seven, the worst on the international scale. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency made the decision on Monday. It says the damaged facility has been raising or rather releasing a massive amount of radioactive substances, which is a threat to human health and the environment over a wide area. It used the International Nuclear and Radiological Events Scale to gauge the level. The scale was designed by an international group of experts to measure the gravity of nuclear events based on ratings of 0 to 7. On March 18th, one week after the massive quake, the agency declared the Fukushima crisis a level 5. That's the same as Three Mile Island in the United States in 1979. Level 7 has only been applied to Chernobyl in the former Soviet Union in 1986. At the time, hundreds of thousands of terabecquerels of radioactive iodine-131 were released into the air. One terabecquerel is one trillion becquerels. It believes the cumulative amount from the Fukushima plant is less than that of Chernobyl. Officials from the agency and the Nuclear Safety Commission will hold a news conference on Tuesday morning to explain... Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is April 12th, 2011. I'm Darko, this is part three. I cut it down to three parts instead of four. And my website is www.ggnonline.com. That's ggnonline.com. Okay, we're just just get right into it. Mom convicted for withholding son's chemo. And uh, when I first heard the story, I just thought it was a horrific story. Not because of what she did, but because of what the uh, precedence, the precedence that has been set because of this case. Um, a lot of people out there, for whatever reasons, personal reasons, don't want to go through the chemo with the drugs. Uh, you know, like this woman, she, she basically said that her son was miserable and didn't want to be on in the, the drugs anymore for chemo. And, of course, you get radiated as well. And if you don't want that um, as a parent for your child and you just want to pray for him or her and, you know, basically do what you can, um, you know, it could be just religious reasons or financial reasons. Some people may not have the money, but then some people may disagree with the treatment. Now, look at what this says. A woman who withheld at-home chemotherapy medications from her autistic, cancer-stricken son was convicted of attempted murder Tuesday by jurors who dismissed her claim that she thought the side effects of the treatment could kill him. They can, right? That's what it is. That's what it's all about, this cancer. You know, one in three get cancer now, and it's going to be eventually one in two. And, um, and yeah, you got to go to the eugenicists who gave it to you, right? You have to go to the eugenicists who caused, who helped, you know, precipitate your cancer. Um, and what are they going to give you? They're going to give you, um, just really, really bad medications, hardcore or radiation. And my uncle just survived a uh, cancer uh, two years ago and he was part of a, a experimental, um, uh, therapy or treatment, but uh, basically he was the only one that lived out of 10 people. So I, you know, it's like, this is just crazy, you know, guilty of child endangerment and assault and battery for failing to give her son, her son, not the state's, but no, it is the state. That's the problem. The state legally owns your child. That's why you have a marriage certificate and a birth certificate because that child is owned by the state. So they can do whatever the hell they want, like take your child's DNA when they're born out of their blood and store it into a database and not tell you about it. Why? Because that's not your child, just like it's not your car because you don't have a low deal title to it. You pay what? Taxes on it. When you get registration that you're paying your tax for the property that's owned by the state, just like real estate, unless you have a loadial title, you pay property taxes because you do not own that property. You just own the house on top of it, which is pretty much worthless if you don't own the land. So as UN torture investigator denied access to Bradley Manning, Texas lawmakers back off concealed carry on campus. So they were going to do that. Now they backed off. Uh, work till you're 70. And of course, work your, workers are having to watch their dreams of a comfortable retirement crumble as they realize their pensions are not enough to pay the bills. All done by design, of course. 
a damning report revealed last night. And I, when I say it's done by uh, on purpose, I mean that. I mean, eventually, with the, what we're looking at here is a bunch of useless eaters. Uh, that's not how I see it. This is how the powers that be see it. So something's got to give and something has to be done. So population reduction, here we come. And we have EU tolls soar for truckers, and it says shop prices could be forced up in the UK due to 30% rise in EU tolls on lorries, and that's not even including uh, the uh, Petro, as they call it, over in Europe. EU plans standardized work rules, so the European Union this week will propose new laws that aim to remove obstacles to professionals from one member state working elsewhere in the EU. Just like the North American Union we have over here, opening the borders. And it says here, FBI destroyed thousands of UFO reports, 1949 memo reveals. Then we have thermal cameras show too much. And uh, this is a crazy story because it's uh, all about what? It's all about uh, basically uh, the city using these infrared cameras to see, ooh, how heat loss is being, uh, how heat loss is taking place. No, they're spying on people. A thermal imaging project in the city of Boston has been put on hold because of privacy concerns, which means they'll just wait until people forget about it. Or they can just, you know, basically uh, roll, uh, bull rush through these people's rights and just do it anyways. So uh, that's probably what will happen. Boston officials had hoped to have aerial and street level photos taken across about a four square miles of the city this winter using infrared cameras that would show heat loss in the city homes. Now that's just a lame ass excuse, right? Because we all know that they, uh, the government has something called a high altitude airship designed uh, by uh, Purdue and uh, manufactured by Lockheed Martin, although Lockheed Martin may have their own design as well. But the prototype was created by Purdue, and then it was uh, off to the government in the military-industrial complex, and these high-altitude airships will be uh, flying overhead, and I'm sure they already have them. I mean, they have uh, at least one down by the border, and that's how they always do it. They have to have some kind of legitimate reason to put these suckers up there and start spying on you. Um, but yeah, I mean, the technology exists where these blimps can be flying overhead, and uh, basically looking in your home, looking in your home, which is pretty spooky. And that's why I said you have no privacy. It's gone. So you can go there and uh, check that out. It says here, quarter century old digital privacy law up for revision. So there you go. Government is reexamining how the law in the physical world should translate to the digital world. The ECPA sets laws on protecting digital privacy and governs law enforcement access to digital communications. What's because we are in a state emergency and you have the Patriot Act uh, and, and wiretapping and that. Uh, they're spying on your emails, your text messages, your phone calls, everything. So this is not an exaggeration. This is going on. It says, uh, there is currently no proposed legislation. Lay he, uh, however, lay down several standards that should act as a core. Oh, here we go. It should balance, oh, privacy rights, public safety, and security while also encouraging American innovation. How cute, right? Well, I'm sorry to say this, but if you're going to have security, right, it's not really security for you, right? We don't need the government at all. We don't. And then you have public safety. Well, the government doesn't give a shit about public safety. Otherwise, we wouldn't be dropping uranium bombs on civilians in uh, Iraq and, and, and now Libya, right? And they don't, definitely don't care about their own citizens uh, because they're pulling Medicare and Medicaid for old people and poor people. They're pulling uh, uh, homeless shelters and they're just gutting all the social programs that, you know, you paid all these taxes for and now they're gutting them because what? The bankers robbed us blind. And so when you have, uh, oh, public safety and security, oh, you're not going to have privacy rights. This doesn't exist, guys. You can't have all three, right? It just doesn't happen. Pri pri uh, private records of 3.5 million people exposed by Texans. Then UK seeks data storage expansion. Britain is urging the EU to expand its database of air travels to include the data from all passengers traveling within Europe. Uh, female staff from 29 shops uh, might have been filmed in toilets, and that's possibly in Australia, I think. It says officials push national wireless network for emergencies. So just like Homeland Security, the military, and the police will still be operating during a government shutdown as the elites are tucked away uh, with their little in their bunkers with fresh organic food and their uh, thousands of acres with uh, uh, free range uh, cattle and their own aquifers uh, the slaves uh, will be sitting up here trying to fend for themselves and the government will not be non-existent they will be very existent and will be like termites coming out of the woodwork 
um, with all these unmarked cars and, and fusion centers and all this infrastructure that's set up to in help enslave you as we go through this transition period. And it says here, uh, in an effort to upgrade the technology used by emergency responders, uh, this uh, sellout politician joined police commissioner Raymond Kelly on Monday to push a new bill in Washington. And just pure propaganda as they're selling it. New York is the number one target on terrorists. List for all terrorists around the world who want to harm Americans. But the city has a severely limited capability to communicate with federal agencies and is unable to communicate with first responders. <gasps> Uh-oh. Well, when the government helped carry out the attacks, I don't think we have anything to worry about, guys. Just uh, load up on ammunition and uh, some firearms and fresh water and block and load and defend your property and your life. That's all you can do and not be scared out of your mind by terrorists because the government aren't the terrorists. If you didn't know that, Japan earthquakes uh, gets hit again by 6.6, .6, quote, aftershock. I don't believe that. That's harp. These poor Japanese are getting their... Um, their country just uh, uh, destroyed right now, and the Japanese uh, are, I, for what I think, are kind of anti-New World Order, So, and this is why they're doing this. Um, it says here, Japan expands evacuation zone for long term, so they made it out outwards uh, bigger. It says here, Japan earthquake, why Red Cross still hasn't doled out donations to quake victims? Because that's not their purpose, and that's why I recommended all my listeners to not donate to the Red Cross, and I posted a little link where you can actually donate to, the, and it'll get to the people. So, it says here uh, how nuclear apologists mislead uh, world over radiation, and then uh, here we have Japan admits delaying upgrading of nuclear crisis, and uh, here we go. It says Japan commission nuclear crisis as bad as Chernobyl and IAEA. Uh, Japan nuclear crisis totally different from Chernobyl. Uh, accident. And it says here, YouTube videos stay indoors this weekend due to higher radiation levels. Observers monitoring jet stream post videos showing plumes uh, with elevated radiation levels hitting Alaska, Vancouver, and California Saturday and Sunday. That's right. If you're on the West Coast, watch out. Uh, Fukushima radiation taints U.S. milk supplies at levels 300% higher than EPA maximums and EPA uh, new radiation highs in Little Rock milk, Philadelphia drinking water. Europeans warned to avoid drinking milk or eating vegetables to high radiation levels and so stick with me here as we finish up with the rest of the headlines dairy farmers arrested for putting poison in milk that's right you heard it evian has big plans for india in 2005 india being wrongly blamed for bacteria in drinking water and then look at this uh, scientists issue urgent worldwide warning on bacteria with superbug gene and the who calls for action the global government's uh, eugenics death Department calls for action on superbugs that was probably precipitated again by them. Research researchers discover bacteria responsible for spawning deadly superbugs in New Delhi water supplies and misuse of antibiotics lead to drug-resistant bugs in China, says who. Buried animal carcasses cause Korean water concerns as Evian sales climb. Wink, wink. Skin bleaching, a growing problem in Jamaica slums. They want to be white. Vaseline launches skin whitening Facebook tool for India. This is July of 2010. And then Argentina Junta abducted 500 children back in 76. So it's here, GMO food linked to organ disruption in 19 studies. And then scientists create human kidneys from stem cells. That's the, that's the solution to all these uh, uh, results of the GMO. And then how are they going to do it? Oh, they're just going to freeze them. And then look at that, guys. You have a whole new market of organs being frozen, and uh, of course you're going to need a sub you're going to need a demand for that. So it means you got to kill the organs first. So GMO will definitely do that with nanoparticles in the spring. Brave toddler Alfie Clamp stuns doctors after being born with extra strain of DNA, and welfare girl 13 gets pregnant, and uh, he says his government's not to blame for girls. It's Pure puppy love as men take second priority. This is the second article I've seen this where men are backseat now to animals for women. And that's the eugenics and social engineering. Photos, the sad phenomenon of birds feeding on plastic. Look at that. Pretty crazy. You can go and check that out. Uh, many eco-friendly bulbs contain toxic chemicals. Uh, high levels of lead arsenic. It says here, California jolt renewable power. And it forces companies uh, to get renewable energy from wind, solar, and geo. A third of its power from renewable. Then we have record-breaking April will be warm, warmest month despite showers. That's because of all the spraying they've been doing this month. Extreme weather taking a huge toll on the food production. Obama's EPA using your money to upgrade Mexican
Mass turtle dove death linked to overeating ingestion. No, it has nothing to do with magnetic fields. UN urged action on reproductive health. Sperm counts continue to plummet, all by design. And bad news for Obama. It says Social Security number traced to a dead man. And China hits back with report on U.S. human rights. This is GGN, and I'm Darko. Thank you.